Danny Jacobs, a former middleweight champion, thinks that Terence Crawford's technical abilities could enable him to close the distance and defeat the larger and stronger undisputed 168-pound champion Canelo Alvarez next year. Jacobs believes that Terence Crawford, a former three-division world champion, possesses sufficient talent to ascend two weight divisions from 154 to challenge Canelo at 168 pounds in 2025. First, Crawford must secure victory in his upcoming fight against Israel Madrimov, the WBA junior middleweight champion, scheduled for August 3rd at BMO Stadium in Los Angeles. Jacobs views this as a challenging matchup for Crawford due to Madrimov's power and talent, noting that Madrimov is larger and stronger than anyone Crawford has encountered in his 16-year career. Jacobs didn't touch on Crawford's age, as he will turn 37 in September and is no longer in his prime. Both Crawford, from Nebraska, and Jacobs are of a similar age, and Jacobs is considered past his prime. Crawford's move up in weight is seen as risky at this stage of his career, particularly after a lengthy layoff of over a year. Skills sometimes pay the bills, and we know that Crawford has the skills, or Canelo, said Danny Jacobs to Fight Hub TV about Terence Crawford having the technical skills to defeat the bigger, undisputed super middleweight champion Canelo Alvarez when or if they fight in 2025. Skills do often pay off for fighters who compete out of their natural weight class, but this is a tremendous jump in weight for Crawford from his last contest at 147 against Errol Spence on July 29, 2023. It's 21 pounds that Crawford would be going up in weight from welterweight to super middleweight. Although Crawford is fighting at 154 against Madrimov on August 3rd, it's still 14 pounds that he'll jump up to face Canelo in 2025. Ideally, Crawford should stop at 1 and 60 and fight someone in a transition contest to make the move up in weight easier on him. The perfect fight for Crawford at middleweight would be with IBF WBO champion Janabek Alam Kanuli. If Crawford wins that fight, he could move to 168 to challenge Canelo for his four belts. Sometimes power, weight, and experience in that. So, it'll be a good test for Crawford, but the fans are the winner in that particular fight if it pans out. Jacobs continued about the Canelo vs. Crawford match. Without Crawford fighting someone at 160 or 168 to show that he can compete with fighters in those two weight classes, a fight between him and Canelo seems more like a money grab, circus-level fight like fans saw with British heavyweights Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury fighting former UFC champion Francis Ngannou. For it to have sporting value, Crawford should fight someone highly ranked at 168, like David Benavidez, David Morrell, or Christian Mbilly before taking on Canelo. It's not fair to the paying fans for Crawford to move up two weight classes to challenge Canelo for the undisputed championship without at least beating someone notable at 168 to prove he rates a title shot. But Crawford has a tough one now, WBA junior middleweight champion Israel Madrimov on August 3rd, said Jacobs. I'm going to be in the building supporting him on that night. I'm a big fan of his, and I'm looking forward to all he accomplishes.